I have another of my favorite books to share with you today. And then at the end, I have a challenge for you. So today's book is called The Dot, and the pictures and the story are both by Peter H. Reynolds. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Look at her face. Does she look like she's happy about art class? Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good strong jab. There. The teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, Now sign it. See, her art is just a dot, that's all. Vashti thought for a moment, well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot. She had drawn her dot, all framed in swirly gold. Look at that. It looks like the teacher thinks it's kind of special that she put it in that cool frame. Hmm. I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never before used set of watercolors and set to work. Do any of you have a set of watercolors like that? Or crayons or color pencils that you like to draw with? Vashti painted and painted. A yellow dot, a green dot, a red dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the red. She discovered that she could make a purple dot. Vashti kept experimenting. Lots of little dots in many colors. Look at how fun that is. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Wow, look how big that dot is. Look how big that paper is. She's laying on top of it and there's still tons of paper left. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. Look at that. She painted all around it, so now the white space in the middle looks like a dot. It's pretty clever. Look at she's using like a, a mop to paint with. It's so big. At school, at the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? They're all on display there for everyone to come enjoy. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle, and then she said, 
What do you think she's going to say, friends? Think about what she might say. Please sign it. The end. So now my challenge for you is to take a blank piece of paper with a marker or crayon, colored pencil or paint, and I want you to do a dot. And then see where that dot takes you. And then I'm hoping that you can send me a picture of your creation through uh, my Remind account. Okay. Thank you so much for listening to the story with me. And I understand that some of you love to see who sometimes is listening with us. So I'm going to show you her right now. Here she is. There's Stella. <laughs> okay, see you later, friends. <laughs>